The Teloso Midway ISD School Board is meeting to once again discuss the future of Superintendent Dr. Rick Fernandez. He was suspended with pay in July. Now, the board met last month but made no decision. At a second meeting, the school board announced that they would consider the superintendent's resignation, reinstatement, or dismissal at a meeting this past Monday. But that meeting was postponed until tonight. That meeting is now getting underway, and our Seth Kovar joins us live with the very latest on this. Seth? Katia, these meetings have gone from a crowd spilling out of the boardroom into the hallway to now I saw just two people in the audience tonight. It's unclear whether or not they'll speak during the public comment section like they have in the past, most of them for keeping the superintendent, but some folks against the decision that it could be made here tonight. Now, the school board will likely go into closed executive session after that public comment period. They could spend hours in there, but they have to come out before they actually vote on what to do with Superintendent Rick Fernandez. The options are outright firing him, reinstating him on one end, also accepting a resignation with a, some kind of terms worked out. We'll have to see how it all plays out and we'll give you an update. Now for the first time at the last meeting, a lawyer for the school district gave a little information as to why the school board suspended Fernandez and why they're considering parting ways with him. That attorney said they hired an independent consultant to investigate Fernandez's performance because they were concerned about it. Previously, they said since it's a personnel matter, they legally couldn't release any details. Now that disclosure came after half a dozen or so parents called for transparency during the public comments portion of these school board meetings. Most of them also urged the board not to get rid of Fernandez. Now, if they do buy out his contract, it could be costly for the school district. He has two more years on his deal at around $190,000 per year. And then there's a possible penalty from the Texas Education Agency. Once again, the meeting just started here at Teloso Midway ISD's administration building. I'll get in there and check out what happens until they go into executive session. When they come out and vote on the future of the superintendent, if they indeed do that tonight, we'll bring it to you tonight at 10. Reporting live in Corpus Christi, Seth Kovar, Chris 6 News. All right, maybe an answer by tonight. Uh, thank you for that, Seth, and we are going to update you if there is any development from that board meeting during the newscast. You can also follow us online for any updates on our website, ChrisTV.com.